All right, what's going on, guys? So in this video, I'm um, gonna start a new series, um, NFL Head Coach 09 Rebuilding. So this is one of my favorite games to play, like I talked about in my last video. And so we're gonna start off with the uh, Chicago Bears and try to uh, get them to the Super Bowl in this game. So we're gonna start off, um, we're gonna make a new coach and to save time, I'm literally just gonna call him New Coach, as you can see on the screen right there. So we're gonna go to Commander. And so then we are going to uh, make the special skills. No, actually we're gonna get added skills. And we're going to boost his performance up to level five. Just have the best shot at getting to the Super Bowl quickly. So I'm not sitting here forever. And then we will buy Charisma in case the first year doesn't go well. We won't get fired. We will buy Offseason Seminar and Game Film Analysis. Since those are the two cheapest special skills. All right, so our coach is at 14 overall, which is a great start. So change our playbooks real quick. And we will get into the offseason. So... All right, so this is gonna be interesting. So the Bears um, are a pretty interesting team. Um, so, because they have, so we're gonna look at the roster real quick. So they have a rough quarterback situation with Rex Grossman and Kyle Orton, both not the greatest. Uh, Sed Benson, Garrett Wolf, Adrian Peterson, all need improvement. Fullback, average at best. And you've got Bernard Berrien, who's a solid receiver, but his contract is expiring. Mark Bradley looks decent, as does Devin Hester, who are still on the team. The thing with this game is you can only franchise tag one player to keep off your roster, and the rest of the guys that are on your roster at the beginning that have expiring contracts, you to let go. So at tight end, we have Greg Olson, who's a nice young starter. Desmond Clark, who will probably be traded. And then John Gilmore is going to go. we got John Tate, who's all left tackle. Ruben Brown, probably going to be let go. Terrence Metcalf looks serviceable, though. Olin Krutz, one of the best centers in the game. And Anthony Oakley, a decent backup. So we got Josh Beekman, who looks like a pretty solid young guard. And Roberto Garza who will probably try to trade or just keep on as a decent backup. We have no right tackles at the moment, which we will need to work on. Then we've got Adwale Ogunle, who is a solid defensive end. Mark Anderson also looks pretty decent, as does Alex Brown. Dan Baswin will probably be traded or cut. Garrett is definitely gone. Tommy Harris, solid building block for our team. These other two guys are definitely expendable. Hunter Hillenmeyer, decent uh, off the side linebacker, and Michael Aquo, a below average backup. Brian Erlacher, one of the best middle linebackers in the game. Rod Wilson is a average backup. And then we've got Lance Briggs, who is probably going to the franchise tag, one of the best linebackers in the game. And then these other two guys will probably be traded or cut. We have a decent cornerback lineup. Nathan Vasher, Charles Tillman, Ricky Manning, and Trumaine McBride. And then Corey Graham will probably be cut. Then we've got Mike Brown, who has a high salary, but he's one of the better options we will be able to get at free safety. And Daniel Manning is a solid backup. Strong safety, Adam Archuleta, very low overall, very high contract. So we're going to look to trade or cut him at some point. Robbie Gold, one of the best kickers in the game. And Brad Maynard is a solid punter. As far as draft picks, we have the 14th pick in the draft. We have the second round choice, 44th overall. We have two third round picks, a fourth rounder, a fifth rounder, sixth rounder, seventh rounder. So we have a decent draft core to build around um, here. So we're going to go ahead and skip through some stuff. And we are going to go to the franchise tag. We're going to put the tag on Lance Briggs here. 
And then do we have any restricted free agents? Let me check. Is there anybody with three years left? Rasheed Davis, but he's not really worth putting a franchise tag. So we're going to simulate to free agency. And really what I want to do is just work on getting some uh, trades made for some guys that we don't need on our roster anymore. And so what I'm probably going to do is um, make some cuts and just let you guys know some of the trades that I ended up making. What we'll probably do is send it to the draft or some, and then I'll let you guys know before the draft what all trades I made. So I'll see you guys at the NFL draft. All right, guys, we're at the draft. So um, I'm going to give a quick recap of the trades that I made. So first off, I traded Garrett Wolf to the Panthers, got some picks, as well as Adrian Peterson to the Titans. And then the other guy I traded, the other guys I traded were Tremaine McBride and Kyle Orton. So some guys that I traded for, we got Ray Lewis from the Bears in exchange for Rex Grossman, Corey Graham, and a third round pick. We got Ryan O'Callaghan for Jason McKee, a third and a seventh. We got Steven Jackson for Alex Brown and two fourth rounders. We got Lorenzo Neal for a fifth rounder. And we got Calvin Johnson for Desmond Clark, Roberto Garza, and a fifth rounder. So the team's looking decent. Um, so we're going to go into the draft, and we are going – I'll let All you right, guys so this is how we did know what we picked up in the draft. draft. I'll see so you we picked up Brandon Albert with the 14th pick. We got Calais Campbell in the second round. We picked up Craig Stoltz in round three. Roy Schooning in round four. I ended up trading the fifth-round pick. So we had two sixth-round picks. We chose Andre Woodson and Ataiba Rubin. Oh, we had we ended up with four sixth round picks actually. We had Josh Morgan and Carl Stewart as well. And in the seventh round, we picked up Dewan Tribble and Kevin Robinson. So now uh, we're getting some undrafted rookies. Uh, we can bid on any of the guys that didn't get drafted. So I'm gonna bid on some guys here that I know will be decent backups for the for the squad. Um, All right, and if all goes well, we should be able to pick up these five guys. So I will see you in a second to show you um, the roster going into the regular season. I'm going to go ahead and sim the preseason and make some changes to the roster, depending on who all gets cut. And I will show you the roster going into the regular season. All right, guys, so we are... Um, we are in the regular season. We're ready for the week one game. We finished two and two in the preseason, which is pretty good. So this is the team we're starting out with. We got Andre Woodson starting at quarterback. We've got Steven Jackson at running back with Cedric Houston backing him up. We've got Lorenzo Neal at fullback. We've got Calvin Johnson, Devin Hester, Josh Morgan, Kevin Robinson, a couple other guys in the mix at receiver. We've got Greg Olson, Bo Scaife, and rookie Darius McDonald at tight end. We got John Tate, Brandon Albert, Alden Krutz, Josh Beekman, and Ryan O'Callaghan as our starting offensive line. Then we got Ogunleye, and we've got Calais Campbell. We've got Tommy Harris. We got Hillenmeyer, Erlocker, and Ray Lewis. We've got Lance Briggs, we got Vasher, Tillman, Ricky Manning, we signed Ty Law, we've got Ikegwino and Tribble, 
as our depth corners. Brown and Manning, so free safety. Stoltz and Roshanti Ellis, who is a rookie that was assigned to us. Um, at strong safety, and we started our Golden Maynard doing special teams. So, I will see you guys after the regular season, and we're going to see how this ends up going. And I think what we're going to do, I'm saying to the playoffs, I think what we're going to do is, I decided I changed my mind on how I wanted this video to go. What we're going to do is we're going to just do one season, see how well it goes, and we're just going to, at the end, once we get through all the teams, which I'm not sure how long it's going to take, we are going to rank them and see how well we did with each team. So, um, yeah, so I will see you guys at the playoffs. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap up this video. We did miss the playoffs barely going 8-8 eight and eight and tying with the Packers, but they did have the tiebreaker in the division. So we are going to miss the playoffs barely. And so, um, so that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this is something different. Um, if you did enjoy it, leave a like and uh, subscribe to the channel. So until next time, signing off.